Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, currently away from home for the night without a mic, so excuse the poor audio, but checking in, I'm going to be switching to NGX 2017, the next futures contract, as we are now starting to see some more volume come into it, and we are ending the month of September. So we had a very big setback for the natural gas bulls this past week, and most notably an extremely bearish reaction to the inventory report that came out on Thursday. That being said, we are still in a higher low pattern. So what I'm watching here is our low back here, higher low, higher low, and still a higher low as we if we keep a level above 2957. The bulls ideally wanted to hold this low. That was at 30368, and that would have been the strongest uptrend. But you can see the uptrend is not broken just because we did break that level. Because we did shoot up, and that was just a very brief consolidation established. And I say ideal for the bulls to hold it, because obviously that would have shown a lot of strength, but not necessary for this uptrend that started back at the low in August for that to continue to hold on. So we are seeing a bit of an oversold bounce playing out. The hourly and the four hour time frames got extremely oversold last week, and we are still seeing a bounce attempt from that following through. The high of that bounce attempt at this point is 3037, and we just set a new low with the open here Sunday. That was down at 2995. So checking the four hour time frame to see how significant the oversold bounce has played out at this point, and the RSI we can see is just coming off of oversold. We are closing in on a potential bullish MACD cross, but we have to break 3037 in order for the bulls to see any follow through. And if that level does break, we have a lack of resistance due to the all out dump. We didn't establish much resistance on the way down, so the bulls should see a fairly easy way of it by getting back through those levels once we can establish a higher low and a higher high and see some follow through. You can see we just set a new fresh low here Sunday night, so not convincing for the bulls in terms of trying to reverse this trend just yet at this point. Checking in on UNG after all this bearish action, we can see the week close at the end of last week down near the low, and we're looking at 654 support, and after 654, the level for the bulls to maintain higher lows is 640. So that's a key level on the daily time frame, and if we see a break of 674, I take that back, it's 661 that the bulls need to break in order to see that easy lack of resistance area because 661 was the high of the bounce at this point. The weekly time frame for UNG, we can see the attempt at the trend change. We are rejecting from the exponential resistance for the second week in a row. We have to get over this level for the bounce to play out. We can see the low from August and our higher low in September, and the bulls need to hold this higher low of 640 in order for this bounce to continue playing out. Keep in mind that the bears are still in control of the longer term trend very easily. At this point where this chart stands, we would have to break 793 in order for the lower high pattern on the weekly time frame to change. That's not going to happen anytime soon. The Bears have control of this longer term time frame going back to the start of 2017 for the foreseeable future, and it will take multiple months to break that in my opinion. And right now, obviously a big setback for the Bulls, which we're just starting to get momentum and just starting to see this trend shift on the weekly time frame. Having that all taken away and looking for a potential continuation of this weakness. But again, with the RSI oversold levels on the four hour time frame and the hourly just coming off of those levels at the end of last week, we can be looking for a short term bounce to play out. And that's the direction that I personally will be looking in natural gas to start this week just for day trades because the bear momentum after that bearish natural gas inventory report is pretty significant. And we don't want to be fighting this overall trend, especially when you look at this weekly chart, it becomes very clear who is in control longer term. And that is the bears. I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in as always. Have a great rest of your Sunday night.